Hey what's up guys, this was recently recorded in Norway by several different people who noticed very strange lights appearing in the sky in the middle of the night. So what we're seeing here is a time lapse of the event, so this is basically a fast forward of the event because this seems to be the very best video that's out there right now. Uh, but I will be showing some of the other best clips of this event. So I was really excited when I first found out about this. Um, and then the next day, after the event, this was actually claimed by NASA as one of their experiments. So this is footage from one individual who just noticed the lights in the middle of the night and recorded them out of curiosity of what these lights were. So we can see the lights arranged into a pattern of uh, four lights arranged into sort of a square or diamond shape and the lights several times look like they're dropping more lights below them which then flare up in that same uh, diamond shape. Finally, here are clips from some footage from a camera that was set up already to record the northern lights automatically, uh, which I believe was also the case for the first uh, set of clips that I showed and which I'll return to in a second. Uh, so this footage just shows the different stages of the so-called experiment uh, with different sets of lights uh, appearing underneath the other ones uh, and keeping a similar formation. Also here is the short article on NASA's website that takes credit for the sighting as NASA's experiment. So the photo here is just a general photo of northern lights. It's not specific to the sighting or to the experiment. And it's not a long article. Uh, there's very little information here. This bottom photo is supposed to be showing employees that worked on the equipment for this experiment but really who knows the general public has no idea <laughs> what it should or should not look like so this could just be a group of employees working on practically anything within one of NASA's facilities and that's the whole article there's no diagram or anything that's extremely specific or informative about the experiment or the sighting so a little bit less than fully convincing, I'd say. <laughs> and this article has apparently been up since last year, announcing the experiment and announcing that NASA was waiting for the perfect conditions for the experiment. Um, however, I'm not really going to try to verify um, whether or not this article has been up for a year. And even if it was, uh, most people certainly were not familiar with this article, including most people in Norway. And so when this sighting happened, a lot of people were very shocked and confused and worried about what was happening. And that's because the general public was really not warned about such an experiment ahead of time. And the article on NASA's website doesn't count as warning the general public because most people would have never seen the article and most people just had no idea that something like this was going to happen. And so it's that lack of warning that led to people being surprised and panicking and confused about the sighting. And it's that lack of warning that really makes me question if this was a planned experiment by NASA for real. Uh, because it's not in NASA's interest or in anyone's interest to create unfounded panic and confusion in the general public like that. And so if this really was a planned experiment, I would have expected NASA to make some announcements ahead of time so they would be preventing such a reaction of confusion and panic in the general public, especially in Norway. So that's the part that really makes me wonder if this was indeed a planned experiment or if NASA is just providing that as an explanation after the sighting took place, which just might have been a much more mysterious sighting than NASA is letting on to. So let me know what you guys think. 